of a a, a low budget horror format than a science fiction network. Because I, I saw a trailer the other day for a movie, and it, it kind of blew my mind. Because you you had the comment earlier about zombies coming out of the ocean. Well, just so happens the next sci-fi film is Zombie Tidal Wave. Yeah. I haven't seen that. I was going to watch it, but I was, you know, it was coming on late. And I'll be honest with you. I just don't know if I could have watched it. Did you watch it? You know, I I, I kind of skipped that one because that, that went a little bit into the realm of the ridiculous for me. I was like, all right, so zombies are in the ocean. They're inside the tsunami. And I, I just pictured a movie where a plot went nowhere. Probably, you were I mean, probably I'm, right. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not downing any of the actors that were in the movie. I'm not downing the people that created the movie. It's just, it, it just, it strikes me as this is sci-fi looking to see if they can make another dollar. Yeah, that's what I was, the first thing I thought when I saw the previews of it. I just, you know, it, it was ridiculous. I mean, again, like we were talking about before, zombies, you know, how long are they going to survive in the ocean? How long are they going to survive, you know, in the uh, Everglades, you know, coming out of the water? I, I just, the, I, I can see the point, but I mean, it's not even scary anymore. And it, they just don't have plots anymore. The, and that's what I hate to say. A lot of this stuff is being cranked out of Hollywood or wherever they're cranking it out. Just is so thin on plots. And it, 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 when you go to watch it, you watch it and you, and you go back after you watch it and you go, why did I even bother wasting my time? Right. And, and you know, I, I honestly haven't been to the theater and seen anything too bad lately. Uh, the Pet Cemetery remake was fantastic. And, and I watched the Child's Play remake and absolutely loved it. I mean, a lot of people hated the remake. Everybody was like, oh, well, this is not my Chucky. This is not my Chucky. Well, it's not. It's, it's somebody else's reimagining of Chucky. So, and, and it's okay to do a remake and reimagine. And, if, you know, you, you add something to it. it. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same character. What they did with this one, as opposed to the doll coming to life from a serial killer being murdered and putting his soul in a doll, was this doll was a rogue artificial intelligence. Interesting. Somebody took all the inhibitions out of the artificial intelligence. It started learning, and the doll basically thought that the only way that Andy would be his friend is if he eliminated everyone around Andy. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And Mark Hamill did a fantastic job playing Chucky in that movie. Yeah, I... I, And, And... any version of any version of Chucky, I think it, it was a good movie. I mean, seriously, if you like, you know, the the, the slashing type of movie, it, it was good. Right, and I I actually love all the versions of Chucky, uh, but this one played off a modern fear, and that's technology. And I thought that was a really innovative concept. Because it, he wasn't confined to using the knife. He could use Bluetooth. He could connect to your home. He could connect to your devices. He could spy on you. He could watch things that you were doing. He could use other devices to kill you. I mean, it, it, it's it's a very modern fear. Yeah, I, I got to see that one. I, I really do, because I, I, from what you're saying, it, it sounds like it'd be, you know... A, besides scary is uh, it would get your heart pumping and and that's what's lacking i hate to say it i go back to a lot of the what i see it's just lacking something you know right it it's it's like a lot of times they go through the motions but they don't follow through like freddy cougar okay you watch anything with any of the freddy cougars you, you got scared you watch anything with a jason you know you got scared I mean, you know, regardless, even if they took it up in space, you know, and, and put them in a time, whatever. I mean, it was still scary and, and it got your heart pumping. The stuff they're producing now, I just maybe it's just me because I'm getting old. But 
a lot of the stuff, you know, is this crap, at least what you see on the cable channels. Right. And, and, you know, there, there's actually quite a comeback going on with a lot of these movies. Like we're getting a sequel to the Halloween movie that came out last year. And I actually enjoyed the new Halloween film. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. It had a good plot and it was scary and a lot of blood and, and a lot of killing, but it, 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 it brought you into it and you got stuck when you watched it, you didn't want to unwatch it. How's that? Right. It, it eliminated the need for the sequels that came out after the first one too, because what they did was just kind of effectively erase the sequels from, you know, past the first one because he'd been locked in an institution for all those years. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it basically eliminated from Halloween one on. Yeah, so it, I guess if you're if you're going timeline wise, you could probably call that Halloween two. Oh yeah, and I hate to say it, I like the female star in the show. I I've always ha- infatuated with her when she was young, and even at her age, she's still you know a great actor and not bad looking. I mean, I love Jamie Lee Curtis. I mean, are you kidding me? Have you seen the movie True Lies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis is still very awesome. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and I'll, honestly, if she wasn't in any of those Halloweens, I don't think they would have ever made it. She's what made, I hate to say it, the, the, the movies. I think so too, and I, I think the the few original the original Michael Myers actually did quite well in making the movie too, um, because again, certain these, certain movies like this, you have to have a, a guy that can play these parts. Like you know, you look at Tim Curry as the original Pennywise. You look at Kane Hodder as Jason Voorhees, Steve Dash, Warren Gillette. I mean, all the guys that have played Jason are great because they actually embody the role. And you look at Robert England as Freddy Krueger. I mean, it's iconic. Yeah. And you have to have a guy that, that can actually embody that part to make it work. And if we were talking before going on air, Bacon uh, stepping up and maybe uh, doing, I mean, what do you yeah. think? Of, what do you think about that? I hope that's more than a rumor. I do. I, I hope that's absolutely more than a rumor. I think Kevin Bacon would knock it out of the park as Freddy Krueger. Oh, I think he I, I, He has the look. He's got the build. And he, he sort of even moves like Freddy. Oh, yeah. And he, I hate to say it. He's been one of my top actors of, of all time. I mean, any movie he's been in, you know, he... he, he plays the part to the T. Right. And he's, he's an excellent actor. Excellent actor. Yeah. I remember one of the movies that, that he did where they were taking people or they were the group of wannabe doctors. I guess they were in medical school or whatever. And they were basically killing themselves and then bringing them back to go through, you know, what it was like you know, the, the death experience and stuff like that. And I think, uh, he was in that movie. He was one of the main uh, characters in that movie. I don't remember if he, he died in it or not. I think that was flatliners. Yeah, that was. Yep. Yep. That was flatliners. That was actually a pretty good film. No, I, I think that film was actually ahead of its time, but if I remember right, he died in it. I'm trying to remember. I haven't seen it in a very long time. No, oh, I think I haven't I seen it either. I would like to say that maybe he did. Um, yeah, I would have to go back and rewatch that. I haven't seen it in a good while. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I think, this weekend is watch it now, because I got my own curiosity up on that. But, I mean, you know, this the, the concept of what they were doing and, and you know, and then, you know, the, going into a dream state or whatever they were doing, and then then bringing them back, uh, you know, just as, you know, the time limit was there where they couldn't, uh, it was really ahead of its time. Right. And that's actually an innovative concept. 
Um, and, and that brings me to the whole near death experience thing. Like, I mean, they actually took that and rolled with it and made a plot line for it for this movie. Oh yeah. And, and people out there, if, if you want to see a good movie, you haven't seen it. That is one that you need to see. Trust me. Yep. I, I, I would agree with that. I definitely would agree with that one. And another one I'm recommending to people go see, have a, a beer or a shot or something and sit down and watch Cabin. The original one and then if you can see the new one. Right, right. Definitely Cabin, definitely Cabin Fever. Um, and I've, it's like I said, I've watched quite a few lately that, it, that have been on and off Netflix and a couple of TV shows that I can recommend on Netflix. If you guys haven't watched Sabrina, definitely give it a shot. Definitely give it a shot because it's not like the Sabrina you watched on ABC years ago. And you mean the the lovable one? Right. There's 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 not a whole lot lovable there. I mean, it's it's still very I mean, it's still got all the original elements. It's still got the two ants, it's still got Sabrina, it's still got Harvey, it's still got this and that. And there's still a little bit of that revolving plot line, and there's still a little bit of humor there, but it, it's definitely not the Sabrina you remember. Okay, what? Which can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, it's it's basically the same plot line. She's she's given a choice. Does she want to? You know, and, and this is going to sound strange, but this also plays off the satanic element. Does she want to? give her life over to Satan and just be a witch and renounce the human world? Or does she want to be with her friends in the human world? And which way does she lean? Uh, she actually ends up making the choice to kind of ride between both. Interesting. And where do you find that show at? Uh, that would be Netflix. Okay, and what other ones would you... We're down here like about three minutes. What other ones would you recommend? You know, any of the American horror stories, they're good. Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, most definitely. Um, and even the new Scream series wasn't that bad. No, I haven't even seen any of those. I mean, that tells you what I haven't been keep, keeping up with it. So I got to even check into that. Right, but if you, if you have Netflix, definitely check out some of those things. I mean, if you look under the horror genre, there's there's a lot of hidden gems you can discover just by flipping through it and watching a few movies you've never heard of. Yeah, I, I you know, like some of the best movies actually I've found on Netflix. You know, I, I don't even know what they are. I've never heard of them, but I'll go on there and, I, oh, this sounds good. And then I'll watch it and I go, oh, my God, this is fantastic. You know, and then you wonder why it's never been shown on you know, either on a network or one of the major cable uh, channels. Right. And, and some of these movies, like I said, they, you can tell that there's been a lot of work put into them and a lot of thought. And it seems like some of the better movies you find actually didn't make it to theaters and they just went straight to digital or DVD. Yeah. Which is kind of bad in a way. Now, uh, we got just a minute or two. Scarefish, uh, Scarefest. Uh, Again, where is that located at? When uh, uh, is that going to be? And uh, how can people find out more information about it? Uh, September twelfth through the September twelfth through the fifteenth, Lexington, Kentucky, Lexington Center. Um, and you can go to thescarefest dot com, and that's thescarefest dot com. And you can find out all kinds of information there. Go through the various menus, check it out, see who's coming. We've got a lot of guests from the paranormal department. We've got a lot of guests from the horror celebrity department. Um, it's basically going to be a great time. Oh yeah, and then you got it people. Always is. Yeah, I wish I, I get. You know, they have one similar to that up here in the Northwest. And you know, I always say I'm going to go to one, but I never do. And I, I think one of these days before I get much older, I need to. But anyway, uh, Nick, I want to thank you for coming on. Hey, you know what? It's my pleasure. Anytime you want me to come back, I definitely will. 
Okay, and and we got two minutes left. Anything you want to recommend of all time, your favorite. 